you know, I wasn't going for another fall grungy look, but I'm happy it came out this way. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing another declutter. We're going to be going over my foundations and my powders. So just to recap on the inventory, the foundations, I had 21 of them and powders, I had 21 of them as well. So we're going to go ahead and go through what I'm passing, what I'm throwing. I did forget to mention the one packet foundation sample that I have, which is this one, the NARS Sheer Glow foundation and it comes like this i am keeping it so i have tried this foundation in the past and i do like it i just kind of want to refresh what i think about it and then if i do plan on buying the full size then i can go ahead and do that so we're just going to go ahead and jump into it if you do want to go ahead and see the foundations and the powders they plan on keeping and what i plan on passing and throwing go ahead and just keep on watching all right so we're going to go ahead and start off with the foundation then like last time i do have the two bags with the stuff that i'm going to pass along stuff i'm going to throw out so we're going to go ahead and just jump into it the first one we're going to go into is this one this is the physician's formula the healthy foundation i do really love this formula i do think it's really nice for a nice light medium kind of coverage it does have a pretty strong smell to it so if you're sensitive to smells i don't recommend this one for you but if you don't really care about smells this one's actually pretty good so we're going to be keeping it this one is the maybelline superstay foundation it's a very matte foundation full coverage I do think I have it a little too light, um, so this one's just going to get thrown out. It's kind of old too, and I just kind of need a new one and maybe a deeper shade, so this one's just going to get thrown out. The next one is my absolute favorite foundation in the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. This is the best foundation. I'm actually almost done with this, which makes me kind of sad, but also proud because I don't use makeup very often. And this is one of my newer foundations. I believe I got it like sometime this year. And I think it even launched sometime this year. And the fact that I'm almost done with it says a lot. So definitely going to have to repurchase this when I go back to buy makeup. But for now, I'm going to try to use up what I have. And this one is going to stay until I finish it. The next one is this CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I did use this in a recent video. It didn't perform its best, but it could be that it's just really old. Um, I kind of looked back on when I bought this, and it was back in 2018. So it's a two-year-old foundation. I really don't listen to a lot of the expiration dates for some makeup, but this one is definitely pretty old. And I do think the performance is affected by how old it is. It didn't really smell weird. The formula didn't really change. I just think it just is old. So. For those reasons, this is going to get thrown out. The next one is the Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation by Hard Candy. This one is actually pretty good. I think the undertones are a little off on this line. Um, I did pick up this one. It's in the shade Olive, which it kind of was the closest shade to mine, but the undertone is definitely very olive, and it doesn't really match that well. I probably am going to have to mix this, but I do like the finish of this or try to find a new one. Um, but for just playing around with it and maybe just for some quick looks maybe if i'm just playing around with some makeup for a look for instagram i can throw this on and this will work for that but as for like actual going out and using this maybe not but this is a really nice kind of higher coverage foundation to have on hand and hopefully in the future i'll be able to pick up my exact shade if they do carry it so for now this is staying one in the maybelline fit me matte foundation it's in the same shade that i got the super stay in it is a little light and also everybody loves this formula and everybody that i see that uses this their skin looks so good with it but mine for some reason just it never worked like i wanted it to this one is pretty full like there's a lot of product in here so maybe i can pass this along to somebody if it matches with them for now this is just gonna get passed along this one is the wet and model photo focus foundation this is one of the best formulas in the drugstore and it's about five dollars so the fact that you're getting a one fluid ounce foundation for about five dollars i love this brand it's one of the best brands out there and i think they do everything so well so of course this is staying this is the elf i believe this is like the acne one i think there's like salicylic acid in here i haven't even played around with this and a while it's pretty new maybe i'll try this out soon and then maybe we can make that decision a little later but for now this is going to stay because i would like to play around with this a little bit more wow already the top row looks a lot better now going to the bottom row this is the fenty hydrating foundation this one is a little too deep for me um i did get it i think end of last year so it is still pretty good i don't know if i just got more sun last year but this is definitely a little bit more peachier than what i am today so 
I am going to keep this. I can mix it around with a couple of different other ones to kind of adjust the tone of it. So this is Dain. I do love the formula of this. And we're going to see if we can play around with it a little bit more. This is one of the newer ones from L'Oreal. It's the Age Perfect Serum Foundation. It's really good. The fact that it has SPF of 50 is amazing. Of course, you never just want to rely on the sunscreen of your foundation, but the fact that it's at 50 is really good. The finish of this is a nice medium coverage, and it actually gives you the most healthiest look because it's more radiant, like it says, and this is aimed towards drier skin or normal, but I find that even on my oily skin, as long as I set it really well, it does look really pretty. So, of course, this is Stain. It is one of my faves right now. It doesn't top the L'Oreal Infallible, but it is up there with it. So, it is Stain. The Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. I do feel like it is similar, except this one has way more coverage than that one. So, if you want something a little bit more radiant, a little bit more moisturizing, but you want the coverage, this is definitely it. And it has that SPF 50 if you want that boost, if you're going to be out in the sun. So this claims to be a full coverage foundation, but it's definitely a high, medium, buildable coverage. So you can get a little bit more. And it's thundering. Great. So this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I bought this as a sample because everybody was raving about it. It has a really high coverage. And I definitely think it's what the Maybelline one is trying to dupe, which I think the Maybelline one does it so much better. They have a better shade range and it actually sits on the skin really pretty. I know a lot of people love this, but for me personally, oily skin, it just didn't work. They do have a matte formula, which I might be intrigued to try in the future, but for now, I think I'm just gonna stay with my L'Oreal Maybelline one, so this is actually gonna get passed along. This is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover. I do like mixing this with other foundations if they need a little bit of boost of coverage. This product's coverage is insane. It'll cover your sins, it'll cover your past. Like it is so high coverage. And I just kind of keep this for mixing purposes. Definitely gonna be keeping it. This is the CoverGirl Matte BB Cream. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. There's not much in here. Not pass along. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw this. If there's not much in here. It is on the older side. I do think if I get a newer tube, it's going to perform a lot better. This one has just been sitting around. The formula's probably changed a little bit. So I think I'm going to go ahead and throw this out and maybe in the future repurchase it. But of course, I'm going to have all of these to use. So um, for now, I'm just going to throw this out. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation. I did get this off of a recommendation from Tati back in when she reviewed this. I think I got it a little too light. So for that reason, I can't really use it on its own. And it's also a little drier than what I like. It is very matte, full coverage, which I do like to use as mixing into other products. So I am going to go ahead and keep this just to replace the Maybelline one that I threw out. So I'm going to try to use this up by mixing it with the Fenty one to kind of change the tone of it to a little bit lighter since this is lighter and more yellow toned where the other one's more peachy and darker. So I think mixing those two is going to make a really good formula. But we're just going to keep this and play around with it. I have two stick foundations. This one is the Makeup Revolution one and the L'Oreal Infallible. These are the only two stick foundations I actually like. This one I actually do get a lot of use out of, and then this one I haven't used recently because if I want a stick foundation, I usually just go for the L'Oreal Infallible. So this Makeup Revolution one, I need to try out a little bit more. I do like it. It's a little bit more emollient than this one, so it's a lot creamier, but I think we can make them work, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of them because I like them both for different reasons. So keeping them both. Then I just have two little samples. This is a sample of the Tarte Multitasking Foundation. I did swatch it a few days ago and I do like the finish of it. I do think it has pretty decent coverage. I do need to try it on the face. So this actually might be the foundation I wanna use for the video that I have in mind for a full face using sample products. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this around. We'll try it in that video. I think that video would be really fun. So just keep an eye out on the future for that. The last one was included in my Haley's Beauty order. I got like a little free sample of their BB drops and I don't really know what these are. I don't know if it's like super light coverage. I haven't even swatched it. It feels really light. Doesn't even feel like there's anything in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, see what it's about, and I will update you guys in the future. Okay, so these are the foundations that I'm planning on keeping. I'm definitely pretty happy with the size chain. I think it's gonna be nice to actually see all the foundations and actually be able to use them. So even the ones that I've been overlooking like this Makeup Revolution one, this Hard Candy one, the Physicians Formula one, I've kind of been overlooking going towards the ones that I know that I love because they've just been overshadowed. 
so definitely this is a lot more manageable and i'm really happy to go into my foundation drawer and see all of these next we're gonna go into my powders these are all of my powders including my three aqua assurance foundations in three different shades i kind of mentioned this Kind of a few videos ago that i bought one that was too dark so i went ahead and bought one that was too light to mix with it and then i just decided to buy the one in the middle that matches me perfectly so i do like these for all different reasons and i am going to keep all three of them because the formula is actually amazing for a powder foundation i can buff this on put a little bit of setting spray and it just looks so beautiful get really good coverage when you buff this on so all of these are staying so i did forget to mention this in the foundation portion this is actually a foundation it's a cushion foundation by wet n wild it does have a really pretty finish and it kind of looks like this it's super messy um i do love the formula of this but it is old i kind of want to pick up another one when i do go back to buying makeup because the formula of this is so pretty on the skin even though it's really moisturizing really dewy it's nice light medium coverage but this one's so old and it's a cushion foundation so i don't know how i feel about dipping back into this so this one is going to be getting thrown out these are my next stay matte but not flat powder foundations they're both empty guys they're both like hit pan this one's broken and in pieces this one just has like a ring around it these are garbage these are just going to go in the trash i've just been holding on to it trying to use up every last bit of product so these are just going to get thrown out next one is this l'oreal true match powder i do like this one i do go into this one uh not as much as i probably should i think the shade is just a little too warm and deep for me i think now that i have a little bit of color it should be working i'm going to try to use this a little bit more than it's been used but again i'm trying to get rid of it a lot of stuff i'm trying to clean up so this Hopefully, it will be more on the forefront and will be used a little bit more. This is my Haley's Beauty Foundation Powder. I think it is a foundation powder from when I swatched it. It seemed like it had really good coverage. I just haven't used it on the face yet. So, because I haven't used it yet and I still need to try it out, it is going to stay. Now, I do think I got it a little deep. It kind of looks like a little deeper version of the L'Oreal True Match Powder, but we're going to see if we can make it work and see how the formula is. If I do like it when I do go back to purchasing makeup i might pick up the next shade down i'll put these back in the drawer let me just pull off these back over here this is the maybelline superstay full coverage powder foundation i do like this and i do use it pretty often i don't think i use it so much on camera or when i do my makeup for instagram posts but i'm going to try to use this a little bit more and give it more of a shout out and more love that it deserves because it is actually really good powder so it stains this is the maybelline fit me pressed powder and it's in the shade 220 which i think is the shade that i should have been getting in the liquid foundations and i've been getting 120 which is way too light so hopefully you know i'll be able to retry those out in the correct shade this is a really nice powder it's a nice lightweight formula which i do like to touch up so this is going to go ahead and stay for touch-ups oh my god codec is outside the window so this is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder Compact and it is broken. So it's a decent powder. It's very lightweight. doesn't really do much for my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and just toss this. It's kind of old. The packaging is kind of like janky. So there's really no reason for me to keep this. It's not one of the best powders and I am keeping pretty good ones. So this is just going to get tossed out. This is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I do like this for blotting, finishing. I think it's really nice to kind of just touch up with this. So this is gonna stay. This is my Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. I tried this out a few times. I don't know how I feel about this. It really doesn't do much for a finishing powder. It doesn't really do much for a prep powder. I don't like setting my skin with this. So I, I don't know. I kind of want to just keep it just to have it around, just play with it a little bit more. And we'll just go ahead and hang on to it. Or I can pass this along. You know what? I'm trying to convince myself to keep it when I can just pass this along and have somebody else try it. And if they love it, then great. It'll go to a better home that's going to appreciate it. So okay i convinced myself this is gonna get passed along do you want to see a cute face outside the window oh he's gone just kidding we're gonna go into uh loose powders these are my maybelline shine free loose powders i have them in both shades which is sad they only have two shades because it's actually really great powder in light and medium i'm gonna keep them both because they're that great the maybelline fit me loose powder has so much better of a shade range if you want to try a maybelline loose powder this is one of the best loose powders at the drugstore i actually carry this in my kit in a couple of different shades 
and I have this one for myself. I love it. I think I'm actually almost, well, no, there's still a lot of product in here, but I've definitely used up a lot of it, and I will probably be repurchasing this in the future because that is a that good. This is the Haley's Beauty uh, loose setting powder. I've used this maybe twice. I used this in my last video and I do really like it. I think it gives you a nice finish to the skin. I think if you have a really good base, this will perform better than I did in that video. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and play around with it a little bit more. The last one I have is the Jeffree Star loose setting powder. I have it in the shade beige. Now, I don't really love the way this sets my face. This is gonna get passed along. So I think, yeah, um, I think I really just bought it mainly just to smell it because they said that it had a really nice smell to it. And yeah, I love the stopper on this. I think it's really smart to not get product all over the place, but yeah, I just don't love the formula of the powder. So it is gonna get passed along. But I just adjusted them and we're gonna go through the minis. I do have a mini Laura Mercier setting powder. This one is staying. This is a Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. This one is going to be staying as well because I think it's so cute and it actually is a really good formula. This is the Beauty Bakery flower powder. I use this a couple of times, don't really love this. I think it's very drying, it's very matte. And even though I have oily skin, I like that kind of semi-matte satin finish to the skin so i'm gonna go ahead and pass this along so hopefully somebody else tries it and likes it so it's gonna get passed this is a really old clinic setting powder i think this is their universal blotting powder and this is just gonna go in the trash i've had it for so long and it's just time for it to go so it's gonna get tossed this is the cover effects loose setting powder i do really like this and it is gonna stay in my collection just because i think there's not that much product in here and i think i can use this up so it's gonna stay all right guys and these are all the powders that i am keeping i'm pretty happy with this i think this is something that i'm able to use up i know this is still a ridiculous amount of powder but um this kind of makes me happy that i'm able to use this and it's the stuff that i'm actually like interested in so happy with that all right and this is the new setup for my foundations and powders i do store these two products together I definitely think that this looks so much better than before. There's actually room, nothing's overlapping, nothing's hiding. I mean, besides these stacked on top of each other, but I know that those are basically the same products in different tones. I have my actual skin tone on top, so I can just reach for that if I want it. And then I have the more bulkier, loose powders in the back, the kind of smaller compacts and then all my foundations in the front. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. And this is how it's gonna be looking from now on. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you went ahead and liked it, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe. I upload every single Friday. Go ahead and follow me on my socials at Karina Sarah MUA. And if you do like this makeup look that I have on today, I'm going to be posting this with a full product description on my Instagram. So go ahead and keep an eye out on that. And yeah, hope you have a great day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.